Title, The Unexpected Play. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the sprawling Kansas City skyline. Taylor Swift sat on a plush couch in her penthouse, a soft blanket draped over her legs. She had just returned from a whirlwind tour, and the world outside felt overwhelming. The city hummed with life, but all she could think about was the man who had recently swept into her life, Travis Kelsey. Travis was everything she found captivating, passionate, driven, and undeniably charming. Their relationship had blossomed quickly, with stolen kisses in the quiet corners of stadiums and late-night phone calls that stretched into the early hours of the morning. Yet, there was a cloud hanging over their romance, something that Travis seemed hesitant to discuss. As she scrolled through social media, the buzz surrounding the Kansas City Chiefs and Travis's upcoming game filled her feed. She knew he was focused on football, but the anxiety building in her chest was hard to ignore. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Taylor's heart raced. It was Travis, his tall frame filling the doorway, his face flushed with excitement. He stepped in, the energy in the room shifting instantly. Hey, superstar, he said, grinning, but there was something in his eyes that made her stomach drop. Can we talk? Of course, she replied, trying to match his upbeat tone, but it fell flat. They settled onto the couch, and Travis took a deep breath, as if gathering the courage to share something significant. Taylor felt a chill creep down her spine. I've been thinking a lot about us, he began, his voice steady but laced with uncertainty. You know how I'm all in when it comes to football, right? Yeah, and I love that about you, she said, forcing a smile, hoping to quell the unease that was growing between them. Right, but what you might not realize is that my career demands so much from me. I've been thinking about my future, not just in football but beyond that. He paused, his gaze faltering as he searched for the right words. Taylor's heart raced. Are you talking about retiring? Is that what this is about? She felt a knot tighten in her chest. No, not retiring, he replied quickly, but the urgency in his tone only heightened her anxiety. It's about what happens next. I've been approached with some offers, and they could change everything for me, for us. Her heart sank. What kind of offers? Partnerships, promotions, even a reality show, it could mean more time away from you, and I don't want to lead you on. I care about you too much for that. His voice was soft, but the weight of his words landed like a heavy stone. Taylor blinked back tears, the revelation hitting her harder than she expected. You're saying you might have to choose between your career and this, us. The thought was unbearable. It's not that black and white, he said, reaching for her hand. But I need to be honest. I can't promise you the world when I'm not sure I can even promise myself what I want. The tears she had been holding back finally spilled over. But I thought we were building something real, Travis. I thought you wanted this too. Her voice trembled, each word punctuated by the weight of her heartache. I do, Taylor, I really do, he pleaded, his eyes glistening with emotion. But I can't keep pretending that everything is perfect when it's not. I need to figure out my next steps. She felt an ache in her chest that was more than just sadness, it was the realization that their paths might not align. Taylor had faced heartbreak before, but this was different. She had opened her heart to someone who felt like home, and the thought of losing that was unbearable. I just wish you'd let me in, she whispered, the tears streaming down her cheeks. I want to support you, but I need to know you want this too. Taylor Swift sat on her velvet couch in the corner of her sunlit living room, clutching her phone tightly. She had just finished reading a text from Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend of several months, that sent her heart spiraling into confusion. It had started as a normal morning, she had woken up to the usual sweet messages from Travis, his words making her smile as they always did. But there was one message that seemed different. The tone was off, more cryptic than usual. He wrote about needing to have a serious conversation. I have some plans for us, Taylor, he had said, but I need to talk to you in person. There are things you need to know. Her heart raced, replaying the words over and over. What could he mean? Plans. Were they good? Bad. The uncertainty gnawed at her, but she pushed the thoughts aside, reminding herself that she trusted Travis. He had always been so caring, so open. She convinced herself it would all make sense once they spoke. Later that day, when Travis arrived, the atmosphere felt thick with tension. His usual confident stride seemed slower, and there was a weight behind his eyes that Taylor couldn't ignore. 
He sat across from her, took a deep breath, and spoke carefully. Taylor, you know how much I care about you, right? He began, his deep voice steady but soft. She nodded, her chest tightening. I've been thinking a lot about us, about the future, and, well, I need to be honest with you, he continued. There's something I've been holding back. It's about what I want, what I've planned, for us. His words sent a shiver down her spine. She didn't like the sound of this. What do you mean, Travis? Taylor asked, her voice barely a whisper. I'm not sure if we're on the same page, he said, his eyes locking with hers. I know you've got your career, and I love that about you. But I've always imagined something, quieter, more private, a different kind of life. Taylor blinked, stunned, are you saying I need to change for you? He shook his head quickly. No, no, that's not what I mean. It's just, the plans I have for us, for our future, they don't exactly match up with the life you're living. I've always imagined a family, a home out of the spotlight. I thought you might feel the same, but now I'm not so sure. His words hit her like a freight train. All at once, the world felt like it was collapsing around her. Travis wasn't just talking about the future, he was talking about an entirely different future from the one she had envisioned. He was imagining a life that didn't fit with hers. Taylor felt her chest tighten as emotions swelled within her. She had worked so hard, sacrificed so much for her music, her fans, her career. It wasn't just a job, it was her identity. And now, the man she loved was telling her that her dreams didn't align with his. Tears welled up in her eyes, and before she could stop herself, they spilled over, rolling down her cheeks in silent streams. Travis watched her, his face full of concern, but he didn't say anything. She didn't hold back any longer. She sobbed bitterly, her body shaking with the weight of her heartbreak. This wasn't what she had expected. She had thought they were building something strong together, something real. But now it felt like that foundation had crumbled beneath her feet. I can't just, walk away from who I am, she choked out, her voice thick with emotion. You knew who I was when we started this. I never hid anything from you. I know, Taylor, he said softly. But I didn't realize how much it would affect us, how much it would affect me. I love you, but I don't want to feel like I'm losing myself in the process. Title. Shadows of Tomorrow. In the heart of Kansas City, the autumn leaves swirled in a dance as Taylor Swift sat alone on the balcony of her hotel suite, the skyline glimmering against the twilight sky. She had just finished a dazzling performance, the applause still ringing in her ears. But tonight, there was a different kind of noise, the storm of emotions brewing within her. Travis Kelsey, the charismatic tight end of the Kansas City Chiefs, had been a whirlwind in her life. Their relationship had blossomed quickly, filled with laughter and late-night talks that stretched into dawn. But this evening, after they'd shared dinner, he had dropped a revelation that had left her heart heavy. Taylor, I need to tell you something, Travis had said, his expression serious. I've been thinking about the future, and it might not be what you expect. At first, she thought he was going to confess his love more deeply, perhaps share plans for a future together filled with music and football. But then he continued, his voice strained, I don't know what's next for us, and I can't guarantee it'll be easy. Confusion and dread washed over her as she replayed his words in her mind. She'd always believed in love's power to conquer the obstacles life threw their way. Yet, the way he spoke suggested uncertainty. It nodded her insides. Now, as she looked out at the city, the lights twinkling like stars fallen to earth, tears began to spill down her cheeks. She had always channeled her pain into lyrics, but tonight, all she felt was raw and vulnerable. Why? She whispered into the night, feeling the weight of their shared moments, the laughter, the whispered secrets, the promises of adventure. Why was this happening? The memories flooded back, each one a stab to her heart. The way Travis would toss a football effortlessly, his laughter echoing in her mind, the way he'd watched her perform with adoration in his eyes. They had been a fairy tale, an unexpected pairing that brought her joy, yet here they were, teetering on the edge of an unknown abyss. In her mind, she questioned everything. Did he love her as much as she loved him? Was his uncertainty a sign of something deeper? She picked up her phone, scrolling through photos of their happiest moments, but they only magnified her heartbreak. The laughter echoed, and it felt like a ghost haunting her. As the tears fell freely, 
She picked up a pen and a notebook, her solace in dark times. She began to write, pouring her heart out. The lyrics flowed like a river, capturing her sorrow, her fears, and her hope. Each line was a cathartic release, a way to transform her pain into art. Suddenly, she heard a soft knock at the door, and before she could wipe her tears, Travis stepped inside. His expression was a mixture of concern and determination. Taylor, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Can we talk? She looked up, her heart racing. You left me with so many questions, Travis. I don't understand why you're hesitating about us. He took a deep breath, stepping closer. I didn't want to put you in a position where you felt trapped. My career is demanding, and I know how busy your life is. I just want to protect you from getting hurt. But we're already in this together, she replied, emotion breaking her voice. I've never shied away from the chaos. You mean so much to me. Why can't we face the future together? Travis reached for her hand, his thumb brushing gently over her knuckles. I was scared, okay. Scared that my life would take me in a direction that might pull us apart. But I don't want to lose you, either. You've brought so much joy into my life. Thank you.